This is my unfinished Honda Magna 750 reverse trike. It's still got a lot of work that I need to do on it, but I'm just going to give a brief description of kind of what I did. So there's the original engine. The motorcycle frame has been chopped in a few places and then welded onto the new main frame that I built. Um, there's the gas tank. I got that on eBay for like $65. The thing that ticked me off was uh, these uh, ANSI something fittings were like way, way bigger than what I needed. And I guess that's standard in all gas tanks, but I had to, you know, figure out which fittings I could actually get down to a 3 8 inch and then, or a 5 16 fuel line. But the frame I made out of an uh, inch and a half, 14 gauge square tubing. And I'd had this design in my head for probably like five, five or six years. And I finally put it down on paper and then kind of got it, <clears throat> got in my head what I wanted to do. Um, the front suspension came off of a Mazda Miata. The steering rack came off a Mazda Miata. It's actually a power steering rack and there's a, a few informational videos on how to turn that into a fully manual steering rack. That's you know pretty much what I'm doing. It's just you you remove some seals out to uh, get it fully manual so that you're not pushing hydraulic fluid around when you steer. Headlights, eBay, um, that uh, power steering thing, which I'm not not using the power steering from, actually came out of a Honda Civic, like an 03 or an 04, and then. Um, the way I built the frame was I used uh, coilover sharks, like a race car or whatever, chopped this part of the upper control arm from the Mazda Miata and put these uh, QA1, which are great, great shocks. You buy the, you know, the shock and the spring separate and uh, kind of fab the frame or whatever to be able to um, take them. And you know, none of this stuff is finished. It's really just roughed in. It's drivable right now. But. That was just to give a basic idea of kind of how I did the frame. There's still a few structural members that I think I need to put back there. I welded the bottom of the uh, of this right here to the actual motorcycle frame, so I don't need as many structural. It's like the motorcycle frame itself is part of the structural member of the of the trike frame. And then um, my garage is flooded about four or five years ago and the carburetors that came I had this I had this engine running perfect um, when I bought the bike the front of the motorcycle was wrecked so I was like hey, I'm gonna build it into reverse track but my garage flooded and the carburetors got filled with flood water and gunk and to have them rebuilt was $350 so I went online all these people were uh, running motorcycle engines like uh, gold wings off of Volkswagen carburetors off of eBay so this is a Volkswagen carburetor the hardest part um, that I did was I built a four to one um, intake manifold <clears throat> using the, you know, I figured out the, the right size pipe to use and then figured out the best way to connect that was just with radiator hose on both the um, motorcycle engine side and then the four to one on intake. But I had to re-weld this thing and then fill it with water and test it and retest it and re-weld it a bunch of times just to make sure that there's no leaks. And you know, to this day there probably is you know, one or two really small leaks on one of my welds because I used a flux core welder to weld it, which I do not recommend if you're uh, fabbing any type of intake manifold, but it runs and it's just freaking phenomenally amazing that I got it to run on this Volkswagen carburetor. Um, but it, it kind of adds to the way that the trike looks and it's just a, it's a fun thing to kind of putz around the neighborhood. The other hard thing about this was extending all the wiring. I mean, there's probably 40 different ignition and electronics and blinker wires that I had to extend up front that I brought up through this PVC pipe right here and then uh, you know reassembled the dashboard or the the control modules like the speedometer and the turn signals and everything actually I had to take the turn signal box apart and rebuild some components in it because they were worn down and busted when the front of the motorcycle was wrecked by the guy that I bought it from the other thing that I'm working on right now is I um I'm building a, uh, I'm taking a slave cylinder and putting it back there and I'm going to hook it up to the rear brake which isn't hooked up right now. Anyways, I'll, I'll give you a quick, uh, see if I can start this baby up. I put a fuel pump on it because this old uh, motorcycle engine had a vacuum activated fuel pump but that's my fuel pump right there and I have a special on-off switch for it because it was drawing, it was blowing fuses from the ignition system. 
So let's see if this thing runs. I'll go ahead and switch the fuel pump on and barely hear it. Turn the key, get it choked. something at home I mean just start doing it don't look back start fabbing stuff yourself it's more fun to build something and operate something that you build yourself